Meghan Markle and Prince Harry returning to the UK permanently is under fire after their destructive behaviour, according to a royal commentator. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined the royal family to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee over the weekend, the first time they had returned to the UK as a family since they quit their roles as full-time royals in 2020. They kept a relatively low profile throughout the weekend, only being seen in public attending the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said the lack of appearances shows that are obviously outsiders in the royal family. He told that, a deep rift with the royal family remains although a lot obviously went on behind the scenes to allow for their visit for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. This follows their visiting the Queen before the Invictus Games began. It would benefit everyone if it could be healed and the royal family were united. Mr Fitzwilliams said it is unsurprising the couple renewed a lease at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, giving them a base in the UK. The cottage was converted into one home in 2019 for the Sussexes, costing £2.4 million, having previously been five separate properties for staff. It is thought to have five bedrooms, a kitchen, a sitting room, and a nursery. Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank have been living there since Harry and Meghan moved to California with their children Archie, three, and Lilibet, who turned one on Saturday. Mr Fitzwilliams went on to list the reasons why the Sussexes will not return to make the UK their permanent home in the future. He added, it was only over a year ago that they carried out their last royal duties and their strained relations with the Cambridges were on show for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. Then came their interview on Oprah, which was so destructive and their behavior, whilst having found freedom as they see it in California, has been unpredictable to put it mildly. Their relations with the Cambridges remain distant. Their popularity ratings in Britain are dire. Harry's memoir is supposedly due out later this year and there is a reported fly-on-the-wall documentary series for Netflix, though details are unclear. Their future obviously lies in the United States, but with periodic trips to Britain if relations with the royal family improve and if Harry is satisfied with security. There was no sign of the couple at the People's Pageant on Sunday amid reports that they chose to flow back to the US early after they were allegedly booed at St. Paul's. Before departing they did hold an intimate birthday party for Lilibet to which they reportedly extended an invitation for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. However, due to a diary clash, they were unable to attend. No official attendees have been confirmed but it is believed Princess Sans daughter Zara and her husband Mike Tyndall were present with their three children. Mike Tyndall revealed that the family had a good cousin's lunch on the first day of the Jubilee celebrations adding that it was a highlight. He didn't share any further details or reveal who exactly was in attendance but royal editor Rebecca English said she did not believe Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were among the attendees. Duncan Larkham, a biographer of Prince Harry and a former royal editor at The Sun, told The Daily Beast, the choreography of being seated behind the Duke of Gloucester in the church service is very telling and won't have been lost on Meghan or Harry. The feud is still on, and we know that because if this feud was over, you can be sure we would have been told all about it, a family photo would have been issued, or William and Harry might have been photographed dancing together on Saturday night. None of that happened. It hardly would have been possible to imagine it beforehand, but the Jubilee has actually made things worse. The royal family looked like they were offering an olive branch, but it turned out to be a baseball bat. Indeed, so bad are things between the two families that the Daily Beast has heard increasing speculation that Meghan might never come to the UK again.